Erev Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very, very troubling day here in the state of Florida. We are up here in Orlando, uh, down in Parkland, Florida. Very tragic scene there. Earlier today, we, when we were covering a quick news about a drone strike over in Israel there, where the Syrian government targeted an Israeli drone on the Golan border, we were just hearing this moments after this shooting had happened. Uh, we're still very sketchy on the details. I actually had gotten the name of the city wrong. I think I called it Lakeland when I think it's actually Parkland, Florida. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to correct that as well. But anyway, a shooting at Florida High School has left 17 people dead, according to the local sheriff's office there. It said a lone attacker opened fire outside of the... May, uh, Marjorie Stoneman, Stoneman Douglas High School near the end of the school day, then proceeded inside uh, and continued shooting. He left 17 people dead, according to the report, and at least a dozen injured. Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel confirmed to the media. Uh, Twelve of the deceased victims were found inside of the school building. Two were found outside, uh, one in the street nearby, and of course two people died in the hospital. Very tragic situation here. Our condolences, our prayers, we really ask those of you that are listening tonight, Please be in prayer for the families here. As my wife said, very tragic situation here. And no doubt, many families, you send your children to school. You're not expecting that the children coming, that they would not be coming home that day. Uh, very troubling indeed. I'm going to share with you uh, the, uh, what appeared here on social media. I do warn you, it's disturbing to hear what you're about to hear uh, it's the gunman actually firing. You do, will not see any of the victims in there, however, on social media, it has appeared uh, partially some of those victims that were shot. There is videos out there on social media already where wounded were being carried out. Uh, and of course, in one classroom where one person lay dead on the floor in a pool of blood. Very troubling. Uh, we're not going to show any of that images here in respect to the families there. But to get a grasp, to understand the fear these students were in when this gunman uh, started firing. We do under we have heard reports. So he is a former student. He was asked not to come back to the school there, uh, but when he did, he took a lot of innocent lives with him there. Uh, let's go to that next Twitter part there. That's this particular video here. Let me back up and let's let it play. That's to give you an idea just exactly what these students were going through, the terrorization that was happening there. Uh, you know, it's almost to where maybe what the best thing would be is that schools are totally locked down. Uh, I know my wife, when she was a substitute teacher for, uh, for one Florida school back before we went overseas to Europe several years ago, there was no access for parents to be able to come in or students without going through uh, pretty tight security there. And I think it's really what Florida does need now. I know that the gun uh, activists, anti-gun activists are definitely already out there speaking about this situation, uh, wanting to ban guns as far as incidents like this. Uh, certainly should be to where children cannot use weapons whatsoever. Uh, I know there's some issues that about that. But anyway, that's a totally different subject. We're not here to get into that issue today. But again, very tragic situation in Florida tonight. Many families grieving and our hearts and condolences to these families. Certainly our hearts are with you this evening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov on this very, very somber day here in the state of Florida.